This is Shannon, she's 33 years old, and she came today because she didn't like her gummy smile. Here's the beautiful part of this. When you have a gummy smile as you age, this drops or you lose this. So teeth are a sign of youth, and so as you age, this will drop naturally on its own. Okay. But right now, of course, you're seeing more gums than you would like. But in essence, as you age, you age better because people who have a shorter hair, it ends up covering their teeth, and teeth are a sign of youth. So right now, though, since she's young, she's very pretty, she would like, there's a couple different options of the way you can do this. You can put some, you know, a neuromodulator or toxin here, 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 or here. We've chosen to put it just right here. Um, there's different ways to do it. Sometimes if your lip rolls up or sometimes it comes under like this. Um, but what's really important is that she's gonna like her smile better and that's, that's the takeaway. While I'm here though, I'm noticing that, would you frown for me? She's, she gets really low. Look straight ahead for me, Shannon. Really low. Do you see how that almost closes her eyes down? So the reason why we have Botox or start is this is gonna relax this muscle and open up her eyes and her brow. And if we put a little bit then at the tail of her, of her eyebrow, she'll give it an overall effect of lifting this up, like a chemical brow lift we call it. It's not gonna really completely get rid of the hooding. As you can see, it's genetic, and that's just genetic. She, she has this low brow kind of thing. So we're gonna see, just while she's here, if we can raise this up a little bit for her. I think we can. Okay? Yeah, All right. I think you can. So any with these neuromodulators, they start working immediately. So I usually have them express, I'd like you to frown, for about the first 45 minutes. The muscle actually grabs that. Um, and then it, it takes up to a week to 10 days to see the final results. We usually ask people not to judge it for at least 10 days to two weeks. Some people it works much faster. I've had people say that it works by the time they get to their car. And then sometimes we'll get a phone call saying, oh, it didn't work in three days. The nice thing about Botox though is if you don't have enough or if it's not strong enough, we can always add more. It's like one of those things they say, Botox, um, the good news is it doesn't last, the bad news is it doesn't last. So if you like it, you get more. If you don't like it, it completely goes away. Uh, it might take up to six months, but then it's gone. So I don't think you're gonna just like any of it. Um, the mouth can last a little bit shorter. It just depends on her. We will say three months. Some people get much longer than that. Um, it's that this is just pulling. So we'll see, this is the first time she's done anything. I would tell her as a new patient, you'll probably get about three months out of it. You'll let us know. And then again, it's dose dependent. If she likes it or she doesn't feel that it goes down enough, we add a few more units until we get the right dose for her. So not everyone uses a pencil to mark, but frown for me. But I do, mostly because I like to talk to them when we're done so then they don't really think about how this can sting a little bit. But here's the main part of it. You can see that when she pulls and you can see that. So this is the area. We're gonna try not to bruise her too as well. And then like we talked about, it's just the tail right over here. I don't usually mark this area because I'm really trying not to bruise her. And the muscle is much more superficial here so it grabs it pretty easily. And then of course here, I don't really purse hard for me. Uh -huh. And smile for me once. Well, she's really quite strong and we don't want it to drop too far. So let's just do that right here and right here. All right. Also, <laughs> while I have her, um, would you purse her again like a kiss? So this is called what the French like to say, Paul d'Orange. It makes it sound pretty, but that means orange peel. <laughs> oh no. So as we age, everyone, and I mean everyone, not mm. just you, relax. The chin, the chin starts to shorten. So you'll see people as they get older start bunching up and shorten. We call this the witch's chin. Sorry, I didn't name it. But you can tell exactly what it means when I say that. This is, this is kind of the progression of age. So whether you like it, this starts to pull up. What's really nice, it's an easy fix to put a little of that neuromodulator right there. And what it does, you don't want too much. We just want to weaken it so it stops pulling. So we might as well do that while we're here too. Okay. Okay. So a little pinch for me. Ouch. Um, open your eyes and I would like you to squint like you don't want any sand in them. Perfect. 
I actually am gonna do a tiny bit more here and relax. I want you to just smile, got a nice smile. Okay. Try not to bruise you here. Mm, ouch. And look forward and squint like you don't want any sand in your eyes. Okay. Sorry, these sting a little up here. One more of them. Frown again for me. Perfect. So what we've done is we've done this to open and open. Now I, on purpose, didn't put anything up here, and a lot of times I do, because we don't want this to get too high. But because she's really quite weak, um, again, I would wait, have her come back in in 10 days to two weeks, and if this is a little too active or a little too high, it's really quite easy to put just a couple of units. But I'm not doing that on purpose because I really want to see how much she lifts before I make that judgment call. That wasn't bad at all. No. I was expecting something way worse. It's really not that bad. No. Okay. Pinch. One more of those. I apologize now. This is gonna hopefully drop her lip. If she's very strong, we might add a few more units when she comes back to look. But also as well as this, just to soften this a bit, so it relaxes this a little and drops that down as well. See the spring on that just bounces back up. So now a warning, and I always like to do this. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't go and get a massage right now. You wouldn't put your face in a cradle. You wouldn't go to a yoga class and stand on your head. Um, mostly I just don't want you rubbing your eyes, okay. that kind of thing. I'd like you to frown. I'd like you to squint like you don't need any sand in your eyes. I want you to see. And then do this a little bit for this. Smile real big. There you go. On the way home, I always suggest people do that for about uh, on and off, you know, okay. 15, 20 minutes kind of thing. In the first 45 minutes, it's done what it's supposed to do. Okay. It's kind of old school. We used to say, oh, don't lay down, don't do this. It's not that I'm not, it's not that I'm worried about you laying down. It's just if you fell asleep, now you don't know what you're doing. And right. snuggling in might be the worst thing to do. So yeah. that's the thing that I tell everyone to stay away from. Some of my people, they go to the gym and do this. I suggest they don't, but there's, there's not much rules. And tomorrow, do whatever you want but you wouldn't get your eyebrows plucked today. No. Kind of the common sense things, right. don't do. All right? Yes, okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. So as you can see, you can do this during lunch. It, that took all about five minutes. Usually though, you wanna to talk to your provider, you wanna make sure, you wanna be on the same page with him or her. Um, and again, it's all about experience and how much they've done. Looking for someone that's done this and makes this a career is my suggestion, be that a doctor or a nurse, nurse practitioner or a PA. Um, but I think that's to show people just how quick it can kind of be, and yet you also want to make sure someone's looking at it and evaluating your face. There's many more things that I'm going to show you with Botox, with balancing the face and doing it. We've covered quite a few things just on this little break, but we'll show you more soon. All right, thanks. So Shannon, she came in and she didn't like her gummy smile, but we did a few things on her. She's quite angular, so, and, she had her lids coming down, a little bit more of a frown. So we Botox bet between her brows, around her eyes, and the most important thing is we did her gummy smile. Shannon, would you smile for us? See, it doesn't show the gums as much, and it's dropped down. It looks very pretty. But having a gummy smile is actually not that bad, because as you age, this ends up getting longer. So as you age, you won't see as much teeth if you start with a gummy smile. But at this point, this looks really nice on her. There might be some days she might want to stop doing it. But what do you think? I love it. Was, did you notice a difference in take about a week? And it took about a week or so, but I did notice that um, it wasn't as gummy and I'm a lot more confident now when I do smile for pictures. Well, that's great. So that's what's the most important part is that I, uh, I'm not thinking about my smile as I'm going to take a picture and I just do my natural smile. 
That's amazing. <laughs> and that's very nice to hear. That's what we like. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.